This is one where I've been telling people about the plot of this and found myself bringing it up the last couple months, a couple times, and decided that I need to play it at movie night because I'm sure I played it before, but nobody remembers anymore because I originally put together the file for this before I was actually broadcasting movie nights, but we showed it at Salem headquarters as a live show where just local people were able to show up and watch it. And it's one of my favorite films from well before doing movie night. So I guess maybe I don't think as much about playing that kind of thing at movie night. And also it's a silent film, which I often feel is a hard sell for a lot of the audience, but it's such a good film that I feel like you gotta, gotta try it anyways, even if you're averse to reading subtitles or watching a silent film, watching something that's this old 1927, but it's a uh, storylines. It's, it's themes were, I think, incredible. And it's just a bizarre movie in a lot of ways. It stars Lon Chaney, who's in the circus as an armless man who throws the knives with his feet. And the guy who owns the circus has a daughter who acts as his assistant, whom he throws the knives at. And he's, fallen in love with her and wants to pork her in a loving <laughs> way. And uh, it turns out, though, uh, that he does have arms and his assistant's father, who runs the circus, is abusive towards him. And he has a little guy <laughs> who's his helper named Kojo, who helps him bind in a... Uh, what he, a corset, bind his arms in a corset daily. And uh, we, we it's revealed that he not only has arms, but he has two thumbs on his right hand, which give him away as a murderer. And so in order to pursue his love with his love interest, he decides to go the distance and get his arms amputated. And while he's recovering from his amputation of arms, she falls in love with the strong man in the circus and goes to marry him. And, you know, I don't necessarily want to want to uh, give away the rest of the plot because this movie is actually worth watching. <laughs> yeah, I know I do spoilers for every other movie, but I don't have as much respect for those movies. But this <laughs> is one of my favorite movies of all time. And I'm kind of amazed that nobody knows about it and that there haven't been attempts at remakes. Is a Todd Browning film, Todd Browning, who is responsible for the film Freaks, which I think most film people know about. You don't necessarily even have to be a connoisseur, but that's the one where they used uh, the so-called circus freaks of the day. And they're the chanting one of us at the table, <laughs> at the famous scene at the table. And uh, that's it's just another bizarre kind of over the top really old film and like cheney does a great job joan crawford is in it she's the love interest and it's just it's really dark it has its suspense the story moves it's a it's an hour-long film and i enjoy watching it every time i see it let's all go to the lobby to get ourselves a treat 